Hey folks, Alamanic the Hot Rod Hippie here. This video has a clickbait title, but it's true. We are leaving. What are we leaving? Well, we're leaving the studio space. We're leaving the shop space. We're leaving my day job. We're leaving a lot behind. In fact, we're leaving Massachusetts. So let's go ahead and get to my work, pick up my tools, and we can discuss things as we go. Let's check it out. Alright, I'm here at my day job, which is no longer my day job. Brought the truck trailer. We're gonna go ahead and load up all of my gear, my shop equipment, my tools, my toolboxes, and try and cram it all into this trailer. It was quite a tight squeeze when I moved here four years ago, and I have more stuff and more things to fit in here now, so this is gonna be fun. And that is right, I said this is not my day job anymore. I am moving. That's the big thing that's gonna be really changing around here is we're no longer gonna be in the same studio, we're no longer gonna be in the same shop. Everything is changing. I'm moving from Massachusetts to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Next month, May, this is April, you might not even see this till May, honestly, but you folks are gonna see a big change coming real soon. Let's get to this. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and get this trailer cleared out so I can get space made in here. I've been using this last couple of years as more like a storage shed, a third toolbox, well actually like a fourth or fifth toolbox than a actual storage trailer. For the last couple of years, I would come in here to grab one tool, put one tool back, organize it a tiny little bit throughout the time. So it became a mess as the doors were up and down and I wasn't actually worrying about transporting anything in here anymore. So we have to get everything reorganized so it can actually travel down the road. Here's the shop that I've been working in in my day job for the last couple of years. This is a 400 square foot shop. That's all the space I've had to work with for the most part for the last few years, at least in my area. There's a pull max, a bandsaw, a belt sander, a TIG welder, a MIG welder, a spot welder, a bead roller, a drill press, an English wheel, a shear, a brake, my toolbox, my tools, a welding bench, all of that in this 400 square foot shop. Then comes time to start loading everything into the trailer so I can get it all organized and move out of here. I loaded my big mechanical toolbox in first since that's the largest item I needed to get strapped in and secured. Everything else is kind of like a game of jigsaw puzzles around it just to fit everything so I can still get things in and out. One of the biggest challenges is I will want to be able to get in here to get some tools out of this before I move to my next situation. So that's going to be a bit of a hassle as I get down the road. And then here is my overwhelming mess that is my organized chaos at the moment. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything I need out of here in a timely manner, but uh, well, I have too much stuff, what can I say? At least for the size of storage trailer I have. And if you're in New England, in New Hampshire area, you need an auto restoration shop for a project, do check out A Class Act Auto Restoration in Ringe, New Hampshire. It's where I've been working the last couple of years. They're quality guys. And with that, we're all packed up. We're ready to go. Let's close this up, hit the road, and get back to the studio to finish up talking about what's happening. So what does this mean for you folks as the viewers? Well, going forward, things are gonna change, obviously. If you haven't noticed, I've been slowing down a little bit on video production lately, getting ready for the move, and then with the whole crisis outside right now, it's been difficult to go get materials, go film shop tours like I've been wanting to. I've had a list of shop tours I wanted to get to before I moved, and I can't do any of them, unfortunately. We're gonna be moving to a new studio space. This space is going away. We're gonna to move to a temporary one in Philadelphia for a little bit, but actually the big thing you really need to look out for is we're going to North Carolina for quite some time right after moving. So we're going to Philadelphia and then to North Carolina. So you might ask, what's happening in North Carolina? Well, some of you may have seen the videos I've had previously of my dad's 1965 C10, well, GMC 1000 series, 
pickup truck. It's slammed out on air ride. It's got an LS based engine in it. Well, we need to get back to work on that project. You may have seen some of the previous videos that I've done based around that truck. We built a custom fuel tank for that thing and I showed how it was that I built it. We built custom inner fenders and we did multiple different videos about the different processes involved with that, like bead rolling the sides and not getting distorted panels, getting rounded over edges. There's gonna be a lot more coming on that truck in the very, very near future for you folks. I'm working with a few vendors lining up parts for that project and we're gonna hit the ground running on that thing. We're gonna be fully wiring it. We're gonna be wiring the LS engine. We're gonna be plumbing the full fuel system, the brakes on it, doing a brake upgrade on it. There's a lot coming down the road. And for those folks interested in the metalworking end of things, we're gonna be doing door gaps. We're gonna be finishing off those inner fenders that I started, fabricating a custom cold air intake. There's a lot of fabrication that needs to be done on that truck as well. The whole point is our goal is to hit the ground running in a few weeks, get that thing from where it is now to the body shop ready for paint. It's gonna be like one of those TV shows, but I'm gonna to have to do all the work. Yay. You know, when I started 2020, I told myself this was gonna be my year. I'm sure a lot of people did. And the world has really kicked that to the curb. But we're gonna do our best to bring you the best content that I can. Hopefully I can continue to bring the goals that I had in mind to you folks. More shop tours, more how-to videos, more tool reviews, more of everything going forward in 2020. And I hope you stick around to find out what it is I have in store for you. I think that's gonna wrap it up for now, folks. I'm gonna to try to bring you the best content that I can for the next couple of weeks through the move and going onward. Things are definitely gonna be up in the air. It might be just kind of like a move vlog there where I show you behind the scenes of the video production process that I do, the studio space. I can actually give you a tour of it. We'll do that as we get down the line a little bit here in the next couple of weeks. All right, folks, I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, please go ahead and drop it a like. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about what's coming in the future of this channel? I hope you find it interesting. I hope you're looking forward to it just as I am. Please wish me luck on my travels as well. Get subscribed to keep up to date with all the content that's coming to you in the very near future. Thanks for coming around, folks.